So this is timely. Um, all over the country right now, we're starting to see a lot of protests involving police and uh, the community. And we're seeing what happens when police departments don't have good relations with their community. And here we wanted to do something a little bit different. And this isn't anything new. Uh, for the past 60 years, if you really think about it, most of the major conflict riots, there's always been a flashpoint. And it's usually police citizen interactions that go poorly. All right, so what we did back in uh, 2013, the Human Relations Commission decided that they wanted to start a, a subcommittee to work with the police department on how we can improve uh, relations and then also how to deal with, with some of the um, profiling and bias issues that, that have been kind of plaguing our department, just like every other police department for some time. All right, so the, one of the things that we started to focus on was just the, the lack of trust or the mistrust that people had with our citizen complaint investigation process. So that is what happens when somebody actually does have an encounter with the police and it goes poorly. It doesn't, it doesn't come out the way that they want it to. People file complaints and traditionally police departments have had, you know, really kind of uh, formal uh, investigative processes. Quite honestly, we handle them like we would any other criminal investigation. So we call in people, we do formal interviews, um, we uh, interview officers, we interview witnesses. And then when the investigation is done, we basically say it's a confidential personnel record and we don't tell the public really what happened. It's not a transparent system. Furthermore, the person who complained, really all they get at the end of the day is a letter saying, we investigated your complaint and here's the disposition. Trust us, we did a good job. Well, people don't trust us and uh, that's what we wanted to fix. So this uh, subcommittee, what we did is we took a look at what's going on out there in the restorative processes and how can we use that in a, a kind of a handling complaints in a different matter. So we really had to work for over a year and we came up with the pilot program and it's an alternative conflict resolution program. We had to get buy-in from the city attorney from the police officers association, from their attorneys, from police administration, because this is an entirely new way of handling complaints. And really what we did is, is we took a look at what people really want at the end of the day is some face-to-face -face interaction with the employee that they had the encounter with. They want to sit in a room with them and tell them, this is how I feel. This is how you made me feel. And this is what I want you to do about it. And you know, at the end of the day, our employees, in a lot of cases, they actually want that face-to-face -face encounter. They want to explain to them, well, this is the job that I was doing. This is why I did what I did. Here's what I was thinking at the time. Well, the, the formal complaint process just doesn't lend itself to that face-to-face -face interaction. So using this model, we can actually move all the bureaucracy out of the way, get the cop in the room with the person who has the complaint, work with um, trained facilitators to actually have that face-to-face -face dialogue. Now, the cool thing about this process is the police department, we really do step out of the way. The circle keepers, and we're using a circle process, they're actually trained community members. So we've picked community members who have an interest in the police department, talked to them about how to facilitate these meetings, and then the, the department just kind of steps out of the way and lets this happen. And then at the end of the day, they tell us this process is done. What we're trying to do is work through the conflict, and it could be just that everybody gets to talk about how they feel, there could be an agreement, there can be an agreement to disagree, but at the end of the day, we're hoping that the, the, the parties are kind of restored. All right, and then finally, the types of investigations. We were really trying to get to the, the core of the matter, which is the bias complaints, people who say that there's racial profiling going on. So primarily, we're gonna be focused on complaints dealing with uh, racial profiling, but it can be rude conduct or any other type of complaint. More importantly, on the, the restorative process, there are certain types of investigations that have to be formally investigated. You know, things like excessive force or, um, you know, more serious allegations, uh, illegal searches, things like that. So we have to do a formal investigation. After the formal investigation, though, 
we will open that up to a restorative process. So we can get the person who filed the complaint in the same room with the officer who is involved and have them work through it in this restorative matter rather than through the other traditional processes. Thank you. We've seen the price that you pay right at our own university uh, when things go wrong in that interaction. And so this will be very exciting to see how this turns out. Best wishes with that.